Life is abundant on Earth, but is it also found elsewhere in the universe? These are the types of questions asked in the field of astrobiology, or the study of life in the universe. Astrobiologists study the origin and nature of life here on Earth, and question the possibility of life on early Mars. But they also look for signs of life elsewhere in our solar system and in the universe, on icy and watery worlds far beyond Earth and Mars. Because these worlds have the one ingredient we've always related to life, and that's water. Water is an incredible and unique compound in the universe. It dissolves nutrients for organisms to eat and transports chemicals within living cells. It supports metabolism, which is why it's a key ingredient for making life as we know it. Despite what some would like to believe, we have yet to find a life beyond Earth in the universe. So we can only go by what we know about life here on Earth. Life on Earth requires three ingredients, energy, organic molecules, and liquid water. And it turns out water out there isn't so rare after all. Just in our solar system, we've found evidence of oceans on Saturn's moons Titan and Enceladus, Jupiter's moons Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, Neptune's moon Triton, and even Pluto, our edgy dwarf planet that continues to reveal surprises. It's even possible that Venus and Mars had water billions of years ago. This is why scientists have been eagerly working on missions to take images and eventually samples from these moons and planetary bodies. Which brings us to JUICE, the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer mission that blasted off by the European Space Agency April 2023. The JUICE mission is heading for Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa. This is because, as I previously mentioned, the moons of Jupiter have been identified as having some of the highest potential to support life because some of them are known to have liquid oceans of water beneath icy surfaces. One of these is my childhood favorite, a complex icy world known as Europa. Europa is known for its smooth, bright, icy, cracked appearance. Europa may have an ocean more than twice the size of Earth's oceans combined. The best evidence for a European ocean was gathered by NASA's Galileo mission, which orbited Jupiter from 1995 to 2003. During the flyby, the spacecraft detected a magnetic field within Europa. Scientists think the most likely cause is a global ocean of salty water. The cracked appearance of Europa's surface, like what you see in this image, also supports this idea. Two large impact structures show concentric patterns, which suggests impacts may have penetrated through the ice shell into liquid water. Research models also suggest tidal flexing. Europa's icy shell is stretched by Jupiter's gravity. This flexing creates heat, which is what could keep the water in a liquid state below the icy surface. NASA is also set to launch a mission here in 2024 known as the Europa Clipper. Says the agency, some of Europa's characteristics would be extremely difficult to explain if the moon does not contain a global subsurface ocean. They predict that Europa could have an ocean depth on average of 100 kilometers, keeping in mind that Earth's average ocean depth is about 4 kilometers. Earth's surface is known to be covered with about 71% water, liquid water. Meanwhile, Europa's surface is covered with water, but in ice form. What lies below the surface is yet to be solved and is the subject of these missions. But as I mentioned, Europa isn't the only candidate for water in life. The European mission JUICE is also looking at Jupiter's other moons, Ganymede and Callisto. Here they'll study the characterization of the ocean layers and the subsurface waters, the topographical and geological features, physical properties of their icy crusts, their internal masses, and magnetic field behavior and existence. In addition, Europa will be studied for the existence of organic molecules, understanding the formation of surface features, and the composition of any non-water or ice material. And if these missions go well, we might see future missions being sent to actually take samples to study and look for the potential of Jovian life. And we might have more than Jovian neighbors. Saturn's moon Enceladus has displayed some interesting plume features imaged by both Cassini and the famous James Webb telescope recently. Enceladus appears to be an ocean world, about 4% of the size of Earth. And scientists believe that sandwiched between the moon's icy outer crust and the rocky core is a global reservoir of salt water. Geyser-like volcanoes spew jets of ice particles, water vapor, and possibly organic chemicals out of crevices on the moon's surface 
which Webb revealed could be at a rate of 79 gallons per second and 20 times the size of the moon. Meanwhile, closer to home, missions like Perseverance are looking for life on Mars. Well, not exactly life on Mars today, but the rover will be collecting data that could be used to identify biosignatures of ancient microbial life on Mars past. And by the way, missions from old spacecraft imagery continues to inform scientists. This view of Europa was captured in the 1990s by NASA's Galileo spacecraft and shows evidence of icy moon quakes that might have triggered landslides. And as more of these missions bring back new information, these scientists can better understand tectonism outside of Earth. In upcoming videos, we'll take a closer look at the tectonics and geology of planets and moons in our solar system. And we'll even see how places right here on Earth can inform us about the rest of the universe. Information that surely makes us feel big and small at the same time and keeps us humble. Thank you.